On this episode, we traveled to the Eastern Cape of South Africa and joined Sun Africa Safaris for an epic long-range hunting adventure. We're after several species of plains game and we get word from other hunters of a massive sable bull spotted in the mountains. The guide and his tracker find this bull and get us on a hunt you don't want to miss. Right here on The Best of the West. After 21 hours of flight, we're welcomed in Johannesburg by the staff at the Afton Guest House. Welcome to South Africa. Thank, Thank you very much. You. It's the beginning of winter in South Africa, and this first cool evening was spent reminiscing and anticipating great hunts this trip. An early rise the next morning treats us to the beautiful Afton grounds And after a fulfilling breakfast, we're ready for the next flight. The Afton House is situated in a gated community with a 24-hour armed guard and is only 10 minutes from the airport. Pierre Muhlman of Sun Africa Safaris was waiting for us in Port Elizabeth, and after loading up, we take a two and a half hour drive to the lodge. Welcome to South Africa. Africa. How's your lovely wife? She's doing well. She'll be there when we arrive at the lodge. Yeah. Now we've got some other guys in camp. We've got two guys. Uh, oh, we'll have to kick them out. They're from Miami. Wyoming. <laughs> now we know we got to kick them out. Yeah. <laughs> we were shown to our rooms and spent another cool evening by the fire pit. After traveling those distances, we'll need to make sure all the rifles are zeroed for this area, and Pierre has a 500-yard range to do just that. Just a little bit low. Maybe a click. Try one click up. Get it. Get it. Heard the rock. You can tell the difference when it hits the rock yeah. or the sand. Woo! Here in South Africa with the sun shining on us, we are checking our zeros, making slight adjustment for a different atmospheric condition. Uh, we're a little bit lower here than we were in Cody, Wyoming, a couple thousand feet, so we're checking the rifles to make sure they're dead on, resetting our turrets. I've uh, dropped my magnification back down to low power. Got my bubble level in the middle, loading up three in the magazine, dropping the bolt on an empty chamber. We're ready to go hunting in Africa.
demand come to move. Different problem. Yeah. It's a female game spot, is it? Long, long, she long one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good enough. The Best of the West is brought to you by The Wild Sheep Foundation, Gunbroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Fornity, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. Look at the one on the very right. Spotted one Gimsbach, which is on my list, and then we're looking at Zebra, which was not on my list. But they look pretty good. So I was close. I dry fired four times. Perfect. Didn't move. Followed through. Crosshair stayed right there. Never gave us a broadside shot. Wind's picking up. We're going to move on, see if we can get a better shot. Who's moving now? Just keep it in range. Okay. See that small little red road? Come on, boy. I'm going to add the other clip. Start me. It's 5.15. Okay, just why do you might stop again, eh? Okay, lads, I've got him there at uh, 5.88, eh? You got him there? 600, 600. Got him at 6, taking out yeah, a clip for downhill angle. Yeah, 600, eh? Sweat and tears don't matter, not when you get something like that. So is that the further shot than on the kill? You know what line it is, eh? Yeah. It is. We've shot a couple in the 400 yard range. Yeah. But uh, you we said you're gonna. To go farther, you said you're gonna do it, and you definitely <laughs> did it. <laughs> that Hornady ELDX bullet. Does the job. That's a bad mamma jamma right there. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> All you gotta do is get it close. That's for the right. super bullet right there. Oh, he's nice. nice. Pretty. Oh. Beautiful bull, man. Yeah, I was, I was aiming right there. Yeah. So I, I really didn't hit much higher than I was aiming, but I could have yeah. held two minutes more. It's just beautiful white tips. Yeah, look at this one over here. This one is exceptional. And that's what you're looking for, you know. You're looking for these white tips. Beautiful, wide bull. Very impressive. Well done.
distance I can remember, there's always been a lot of kudu here, a beautiful animal. But I always ask myself, why isn't that our national animal? Amazing animal to hunt. It feeds a lot of people around here. In the hunting season, you know, a lot of that meat get taken and, and feed, feed people. Also very dangerous on the roads. In my lifetime, three guys that has been killed basically in the same place by kudus running into a car at night. I was about 11 years old and we had to do a project about what you want to be one day. So all of the kids had like a doctor and fireman and all those kind of stuff. I did a project about professional hunting because I always saw my dad using these guns and with the international clients and staying in these lodges and hunting these animals. So for me that was just amazing. Very nice. I'm very fortunate to be at this stage of my life. We have a son next to me that's, that's willing and prepared to, to go on with his business. There's no doubt in my mind that he will take it on and, and take it to the next level. At the moment, I'm the head professional hunter and I do all the marketing, so I plan the whole marketing uh, circuit and uh, do all the emails. It gives me confidence I've got a a son that can go on with, with all my hard work. He's a fiery guy, one of the hardest workers that I know. He says what he thinks, you know, and people respect him for who he is. And he put his whole heart into this business. We work very well together, uh, two different personalities, and uh, there's space in the business for, for both of us to do our own thing, and that works well. The previous day, there was some hunters coming out of the high country. They had been hunting eland, and they just happened to see a sable up in the cliffs. Deer asked me if I would like to hunt the sable, and I said, absolutely, let's try it. We sat there for probably 20 minutes and we knew about where this animal had been living in the past. And Michael picked up just the glint of the horns. It seemed like a mile away. To be able to pick up something that has a little glint to it at that distance and know it's the species we're hunting for was unbelievable. We relocated, left the truck, and then we hiked up the mountain to be able to get in on this animal. It hasn't gone over 10 yet. We set up as if that thing was going to take and give us an opportunity to take a broadside shot. And it was a waiting game. We waited for an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. I knew he wasn't going to give us a broadside shot. In the blink of an eye, he had turned around and took off running. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. I mean, it was poetry in motion. This thing was unbelievable, running down that mountainside, just gliding through those cliffs and rocks. There was no time. There was no time to set up on that shot. He was just so fluid and so fast that there was no way I could track him with the rifle.
and then around the rim, and he was gone. We jumped up, ran down the mountain, relocated. Uh, Pierre told me, you're not going to have much time. And when he had gone through the canyon and come out the other side, he was stopped. There's 355. The Best of the West is brought to you by The Wild Sheep Foundation, Gunbroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Fornity, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. To book your next South Africa hunt with Sun Africa Safaris, go to their website at www.sun-africa.co.za. For more information about the products and gear used in today's show, please visit longrangestore.com or call 1-866-754 Seven six one eight. In the blink of an eye, he had turned around and took off running. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. There was no time. There was no time to set up on that shot. This thing was unbelievable running down that mountainside. He was just so fluid and so fast that there was no way I could track him with the rifle. We jumped up, ran down the mountain, relocated. Uh, Pierre told me, you're not gonna have much time. And when he had gone through the canyon and come out the other side, he was stopped. Okay, 355. That is a absolutely magnificent sight. That was... We had exactly an hour and 15 minutes standoff with it. I know, my arm went numb. <laughs> yeah, that is... And my neck keep kinking. I can't wait to see that thing, man. That, that, was, a, nice. that was a steep angle. Up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's unbelievable. He's not moving. He just rolled about five yards. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Dukes up. Come <laughs> on, Mike. <laughs> Boy, man. Jeez. Jeez, my goodness. Um, We're going to get his horns out there and look at them, and I can see they are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Get him up here for nice pictures and stuff. But yeah, just the hunt itself was pretty intense. And it was intense. Just the scenery that we in. Give us the key. Did you three up? Okay, well. Okay, one, two, three up. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. The first real sable in the wild I'd ever seen. Oh, the grace and the beauty of this animal was spectacular. I will go Moses and go to Kopiti straight from off. We couldn't wait to get back to the skinning shed, get that measuring tape, and find out what this bull scored. If I can think of all the animals I've hunted before, this must rate probably number one. I mean, a 44 and a half inch stable, about 12 years old, in a 45,000 acres area. We never thought that it would be that big. We've been hunting that stable for two years and never could get on him. So I think that, uh, that tells a, lot, uh, a big story about the animal itself. <laughs> 